are my tepary beans and um, I've been trying to baby them all summer trying to get blossoms on them because I need to get my second generation in order to start working on this um, but they have not been watered or I have not watered them let's put it that way until yesterday um, or the day before yesterday I guess it was Wednesday um, because this is my dry garden area and these plants have grown and thrived all summer with no water at all. I have not watered them. Um, they got a little bit at the beginning of August from a brief rainstorm and that's it. And yet here they are just thriving, absolutely enjoying this weather. However, not a single one of them bloomed. And that's what I need in order to get my second generation is I need those blooms. I need to get more need to get more of these in order to start planting um, that plantings that are adapted to my area and I waited and 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 got nothing so just this week I noticed our first blooms and you, you can see the tag that I put on it so that I could keep track of them I noticed our first blooms and um, that's actually that's a very good sign that I was starting to wonder if they would ever bloom. There are a couple of reasons that this could be happening. Um, and the first is, frankly, that they're not getting enough water. They seem to be, the plants themselves seem to be thriving. And, uh, but maybe they need more water for the blooming. Like when I come over here, okay, we have our dry garden zucchini. And it appears to be thriving. It's doing great. No blooms. That one has one bloom, but it's a male. Um, but no blooms. So I'm wondering if simply the, the fact of dry gardening with these type of plants is going to delay. Oh, look, look. See if I can get, get it. There it is. There's a bloom. That's the second bush that I've seen blooms on. Great. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if just the fact of dry gardening... Um, is going to delay blooming. Um, another thing that I found out this week, and I had been aware of it, but I hadn't made the connection between the plants and the fact, is the um, there's a couple of things. There's daylight sensitivity. Um, many plants are designed to bloom when the day length, when there's a certain day length. And those plants, for example, chia. I have a chia plant over on the other side of the house. And it was starting February. It's absolutely beautiful. It is thriving. No blooms. Well, chia is a short day plant. So it is going to bloom. It is not going to bloom until the days are a certain length. And... When the days are shorter, um, my guess is sometime around November, if it survives that long, which I doubt, um, the days will be short enough for it to trigger blooming. And that's because of the type of plant it is and where it comes from. So if I wanted to do chia on a regular basis, I would have to do mass plantings and try to isolate. I'd have to do mass plantings undercover and try to isolate those flowers or those plants that have an earlier bloom date. Um, so maybe most of them bloom November 15th and I get one that blooms October 15th. Okay, I take seeds from that one and plant those next year. Um, but it would be a process, a process of um, trying to get plants that would bloom during our growing period. The other reason is, um, and I can't remember the phrase right now, um, it's heat index. Um, Plants need a certain amount of heat, um, heat days in essence, um, in order to function correctly. And our heat days this year um, are actually much less. I'll put the the actual phrase in the um, in the in the box below. But um, the heat days here have been about half of what we normally get. So essentially these plants have gotten about half of the heat that they normally would by this time of year. 
Um, even though we've had some very hot days, it has been very hot. Um, the um, plants are not getting what they need. Um, the third one, and one that I am also thinking of, is UV. Because our UV levels have been so high this year that they have been in the danger zone since about March. And uh, I believe that that is also affecting the plants. So those are a number of different reasons that the plants might not be blooming. Um, oh look, he's climbing the pole. <laughs> okay, so I see no blossoms on any of these. No blossoms, no blossoms. Pepper's doing okay. Tomato's doing okay, but no fruit yet. So you just watch those. But um, the one I was mainly concerned about is getting fruit off of getting beans off of the tepary beans and it just hasn't worked so far. I hope the um, warmer weather, it's starting to cool off and I hope the warmer weather will last long enough for these to actually produce. Talk with you later.